when we sorry when are we going to learn when are we going to stop pretending that there isn't an issue i don't know how many times i've said this on the channel or any channel that i go on we are so predictable in the fact that we will create so many chances take one and then not to punish them by scoring more goals and then have it come back to bite us in the ass <coughs> excuse me it's happened again it has happened again it keeps happening we started this first half in blistering fashion once again son some of his runs off the ball it, 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 incredible some of his passes fascinating absolutely mesmerizing the whole team clicking passing beautiful football attacking progressive creating opportunities everyone getting involved but not being able to finish it it seems sometimes we're trying to do the Arsenal Wenger Arsenal and score the perfect goal. One too many touches, slowing it down, speeding it up, slowing it down, speeding it up. Players being caught offside because of the slowing it down and speeding it up. But back to the first half, we were electric. Romero comes back, gets the goal, starts paying back the, uh, the debt for missing three games. And it looked like we in cruise control. It looked like a case of how many were we going to score. It looked like we're going to get back to winning ways. Poro, Destiny. We're talking about Destiny about in this second half. Um, surely, they're everywhere. Destiny and Doji, he's everywhere. Playing some lovely stuff. Poro, brilliant. Sun heavily involved. Did I think it was right that we put Hoybier in and move Decky out, out wide? No, I don't. And I'm going to talk about Deja and predictability very, very shortly. Um, I didn't like the look of that, that midfield. Basuma looked off the pitch, uh, off the pace once again. But we really looked like we were going to cause some serious problems and the game could be over by half time. That's what it looked like. That's how it seems. That's what I thought was going to happen. But you punished. And what would you know? It came back, so as to move to the reception is quite poor. Um, what do you know? It came back and bit us in the arse. You could see it. You could really see it in the second half. Um, West Ham came out fighting. West Ham came out more determined. Um, and in the second half, we just don't look the same. We just do not look like we are the same team. Uh, um, is it because the team is uh, happy? Oh, not happy. Sorry, my bad. And they're not uh, getting the rest they need. Is it that they're just exhausted? Is it just a desire and they're, they're just drained from the first half's commitment and, and just going so far forward and not being able to get put the game to bed. I don't know what it is, but questions need to be asked. We proceed the second half. I mean, I've said is I'm, I'm going to talk about him. I mean, Brendan Johnson, let's talk about Brendan Johnson, actually. And I'm going to only speak mildly because obviously Andrew management tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to with Johnny. Brendan Johnson does all the right things apart from the final product. Great closing down. He's getting better at that. He's doing things better. He's getting there. But the end product is not good enough. Dejan Predictability, who's been great in the center, and I do mean great. Um, you look at it and you think, why has he been so sloppy today? Why is he so slow? Why is he stopping possession? Or sorry, why, why is he just, I'm so annoyed right now. I'm sorry. Every time he gets the ball, 
he stops when he should run and he runs when he should stop and it is so predictable on that left right hand side he's just about to cut in and defenders know what to do they telegram it they telegraph it, it it's so obvious Hoybier passing sloppy and then just the kamikaze defending this is what happens if we had taken our chances that we created in the first half. We wouldn't have to worry about a couple of errors in the second. There is a big problem at Tottenham Hotspur. People don't want to talk about it. People want to say, I put a tweet up yesterday about Aston Villa and how they're a huge threat. And people are going, oh, if they get the injuries that we get, they'll be in trouble. They haven't got the injuries. Oh, but, but, but their home form is brilliant. Their away form is shit. They beat us. They beat us. Man, you level points with us now. Yes, players have got to come back. But going into this very, very, very tricky period, this is not the kind of form you want to go into. We're about to lose Basuma, Saar, Sun, Sun Electric in the first half. Missing in the second, but only missing because we can't get the service to him. This man needs service. There's no options. There is no options to come off and impact that game. Yes, it was brilliant to see the youngsters on the bench. But they're just, they're just sitting there like Christmas decorations. Nice to look at. Nice to, nice to think all oh, the youngsters might get a chance. But they're not. As for the defending... The defending is laughable. The first goal, a couple of pings, you can't predict it. But Destiny's back past them. Vicario, what are you doing? I know he had to die for it. I would know he would like to literally... Uh, 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 he can't pick the ball up because it's a back pass. And I know he, he had to make a decision. Hoof that ball into Rosette. Hoof it. Um, it's just... Another bad day at the office, and I'm going to end it with how I started. When are we going to learn? When are we going to be ruthless? We had over 20 attempts on goal. Seven on target. We have one goal. They had four attempts, or maybe five, and scored with two. This is not on. There is a problem at Tottenham, whether people want to talk about it or not. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, leave it out.